Ray diagrams can be used to determine the image location, size, orientation and type of image formed of objects when placed at a given location in front of a concave mirror. While the ray diagram may help one determine the approximate location and size of the image, it will not provide numerical information about image distance and object size. To obtain this type of numerical information, it is necessary to use the mirror equation and the magnification equation. The mirror equation expresses the quantitative relationship between object distance DO, the image distance DI and the focal length F. The equation is stated as follows. 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon DI plus 1 upon DO. The magnification equation relates to the ratio of the image distance and the object distance to the ratio of the image height HI and the object height HO. The magnification equation is stated as follows. M is equal to HI upon HO which is equal to minus DI upon DO. These two equations can be combined to yield information about the image distance and image height if the object distance, object height and focal length are known. Let's do an activity to verify the equations with observation. Concave mirror of focal length 15 cm is taken. T shaped letter with 2 cm length and 2 cm width is cut from the black paper and covered with trace paper. This is our object. This is done to get uniform light source. This letter is attached to a large box which will hold mobile phone. We will use mobile phone as a light source behind the letter T. As per the equation, image is formed at a distance of 30 cm. Image is real, inverted and its size is same as that of object. The magnification obtained in this case is 1 as both image and object height is same. As is often the case in physics, a negative or a positive sign in front of a numerical value for a physical quantity represents the information about direction. In the case of image height, a negative value always indicates an inverted image. Let's look at the sign conventions used in the mirror equation. Focal length is positive if the mirror is a concave mirror. Focal length is negative if the mirror is a convex mirror. Distance of image DI is positive if the image is a real image and located on the object's side of the mirror. Distance of image DI is negative if the image is virtual image and located behind the mirror. Height of image HI is positive if the image is an upright image and therefore also virtual. Height of image HI is negative if the image is an inverted image and therefore also real. For convex mirror, focal length of a convex mirror is always negative, so is the image distance. Aberration is nothing but a departure from the expected or proper course. Spherical mirrors have an aberration. There is an intrinsic defect with any mirror that takes place on the shape of a sphere. This defect prohibits the mirror from focusing all the incident light from the same location on an object to a precise point. The defect is most noticeable for light rays striking the outer edges of the mirror. Rays that strike the outer edges of the mirror fail to focus in the same precise location as light rays that strike the inner portions of the mirror. The result is the image of the object as seen in spherical mirrors are often blurry. The diagram shows six incident rays traveling parallel to the principal axis and reflecting off a concave mirror. The six corresponding reflected rays are also shown. In the diagram, we can observe a departure from the expected or proper course. There is an aberration. The two incident rays that strike the outer edge, which are top and bottom of the concave mirror, fail to pass through the focal point. Spherical aberration is most commonly corrected by use of a mirror with a different shape. Usually, a parabolic mirror is substituted for a spherical mirror. The outer edges of a parabolic mirror have a significantly different shape than that of a spherical mirror. 
parabolic mirrors create sharp clear images that lack the blurriness which is common to those images produced by spherical mirrors to summarize we used mirror equation to find out image size and distance for a given object for concave and convex mirrors we also understood phenomenon of spherical aberration take this challenge an inverted image is magnified by 2 when the object is placed 22 cm in front of a concave mirror determine the image distance and the focal length of the mirror